Welcome in another part of Power Leveling series. In today's video, we will be leveling up from level 20 to 25. If you haven't seen previous episodes, it is highly recommended you do so before you continue. Once we are at Everglades, we want to start at Infinity Tunnels. After coming here, we have spent most, if not all of our cash. No matter what you do, you must stay here at Everglades, and do not leave this fishery at any cost. If you do so, you won't be able to return as you don't have any more money to purchase another travel ticket. When this happens, you will be forced to go back to Lone Star Lake and repeat the whole process from the start. So whatever you do do not leave. You also want to make sure that you fish here for at least two days before disconnecting from the game, as you only had money to purchase license for 24 hours. If for any reason you disconnect and log back in tomorrow, your license might be expired, and you won't have enough cash to purchase another license, and will be forced to leave and repeat the whole process from the start. There are three main locations in this area that we want to focus on. Go ahead and add these markers to your map. Please stay in this one area and cast mainly towards the markers. This way, you should catch fish on nearly every cast. The easiest way to catch fish with walker lure is to retrieve it in steady manner while lifting your rod up regularly. This way, you increase your chances when fish strikes as you keep tension on your line at all times. After you completed your first day, fast forward time to night time of the same day and then forward once again until 7 pm. We will fish here every day, only between 7 and 9 pm. On most days, your net will be full way before 9 pm. Make sure you do not fish here when your net is full. We will stay here around 20 days and your rod will break or you will be forced to leave and repair your rod before we reach our goal. Simply wait few minutes until 9 pm and then fast forward time or spend bait coins if the wait time is more than 10 minutes. While fishing here, you will be still earning some bait coins, so if you don't have any, don't worry about it too much. We only need two bait coins for our next setup. Another thing to remember, do not keep any bowfin caught on this fishery. These are worth very little and take up a lot of space in our net. So make sure to release them. Our main goal here is to reach level 24 and gather 81,000 in cash. So we can purchase new gear and move to next fishery. Once you collected the required amount and are at least level 24, you can go ahead and leave to main map. Make sure that you do not repair your gear. You will no longer need your current rod and we need all the money that we have. First thing you want to do is to remove your current keep net. We can now go ahead and buy all the necessary gear. You want to start off by purchasing a 4 slots rod case. As you can see on the screen. We also need a new keep net, for this, we will choose Fish Jail L. We also need to purchase a rod stand as we will use more than one rod. And for that you want to take the duet stand. If you go back to your inventory, you will see that now we have additional rod slots in there, and it's time for us to purchase brand new rods. You can go ahead and purchase the Laker Pro 12 feet 12 inches, also known as the Laker Pro 370. To match a reel for this setup, we will choose the Bremer 4500. You can now move to your inventory and start assembling your setup. Next thing we want to buy is our main line. And for this, we will choose braid line.003 or 0.15 if you are using metric. Make sure to divide one into two equal lengths.
you might notice a message on the top of the screen, stating that this may break our reel. Please trust the guide, and ignore this message. Next thing that we need for our setup, our sinkers. We want to choose 7 8 ounce or 25 grams. Feeder or bottom rods, require that we use leaders with our setup. There are different types of leaders, and you will learn more about this topic soon, but for now, please choose the mono leader 0.10 inch, or 0.25 if you are using metric. We also need size 2 or 0 barbless hooks. Using barbless hooks or lures, yields extra 20% experience but you can only purchase them using bait coins. So whatever you do please save your bait coins, and try not to spend them. We also need to purchase simple bells, to attach them to the tip of our rods. Later in game, you can purchase a rod stand with bite alarm build into it, but for now, simple bell will be enough. Last thing that we need, is to buy bait. You want to purchase 100 of medium cut bait. Always make sure you have extra bait when heading out, as you not always can purchase additional bait at the fishery, and if you do find it, it will be a lot more expensive. Always double check if you have everything, and if you do, go ahead and purchase advance license for Naharin River. Make sure to watch next part of these series, where we go from level 25 to level 30, in no time. And if you find this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe, 